What a perfect start to the show. Morning, everyone. It's Monday, and it's a beautiful day. Oh, thank the, the Lord. The sun is shining. The sky is blue. Something, something, spoil the view, and it's not raining. Bagapoo. Thank you. Uh, we're live on Global Player. Woo! Yeah. So you can watch us live right now. And why wouldn't you want to do that? There's Pepper waving. Look at that. And James and Tom. They're all waving at the cameras. <laughs> anyway, we're live. So you can open up Global Player, the app. If you don't have it yet, get Global Player, the app. And then uh, it's free. And then you can watch us live wherever you are in the world. It's which is amazing. Great. How does it work? And we don't charge Global any extra for this. Should we Should we not yeah. charge? Should we not? Like, no, we should charge. We should, yes. Yeah, like a quid or something. Even. It's free. <laughs> a quid of you. A quid of you. We <laughs> say this you. all the time. Right? It's, it's free, this. Mm. The show is free. Free. It's insane. It's mad. Mm -mm. What a mad business. Yeah. So, watch us right now on Global Play. You'll see I'm wearing my jacket because it's a bit chilly in here this morning oh, in the studio. Crazy. So it was 18. Someone's taken my things down. What, your trousers? No, no, your pants. <laughs> I put covers over the Self-esteem? No, no, that's this is what, <laughs> this is why Pippa got cold last week, because those those were missing. Your A4 shoes. Do you want to see this on Global Player? Should, do you want to see it? All right. This won't make sense if you're only listening, so this is why you should watch. James, can you give a demonstration of how your... Because you've got a mechanical engineering degree. Mm. Mechanical and Mange. electronical. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. So, oh. You had a men's off with one of the engineers the other day. They were bragging about who's got the better men. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Funny. And it was them, yeah. I think I won. No. no was yours Steve the biggest? Steve definitely said he won. No, yours won. was the biggest menge. Mine was, a, mine was a broader menge. Oh, I see. Ah. His was more specialised menge. It's a Masters of Engineering. Oh, okay. So show everybody now what you did to make it less cold. So what I did was put... It's very technical. Put a flap of A4 there. So let's see. And a flap of A4 there. Let's see how you did that. Okay. I'll put, I'll put, the, I'll put the record of the week notes up. There. Okay, yeah. <laughs> They'll love that. Uh, I'll put them there like that. But I need some tape. Oh, All right. Peter, isn't it? Isn't it? And then the idea is that it hits the the airflow, hits yes. the paper, yes. and then bounces back yeah. towards yeah. that wall there. Right, yeah. James, at an angle, hits that wall, yeah. and then hits that wall. And then goes under the paper and straight towards Pippa. Yeah. yeah. That's it. it will find a way. Yeah. It always finds a way. Mm. So it's, it I, makes I, me angry. I know. Because I like being cool. I, I really enjoy being cool. Oh, you are cool. You're really cool. I am, you know, I am, aren't I? <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> Do you know what? Because you say you are, that's how you know. That's yeah. A, yeah. yeah. Come on. Do you wear sunglasses cool. indoors? Sometimes, yeah. You're cool. That's you're really cool. cool. Yeah. And you're cool. That's very and cool. And you're cool. Like Bono and Simon Cowell. Yeah. Now, yeah, Simon started doing it, isn't he? Yeah, because yeah. he's cool. Um, mm. 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 They kind Is of he... suit him, don't you think? What? Those glasses, Simon? No, I think he looks ridiculous. Ah. I think he looks like an old clown. Ah. Yeah. On the <laughs> fence. Morning, Simon. He yeah. yeah. does. Yeah. Like, are we all meant to just watch him on telly and not go... <laughs> What does he look like? Yeah. What's he done? What's he look like? He doesn't even look like him anymore. What's he done? What's with his face? Are we not meant to say that? Yeah. Uh, it has got to the stage yeah, where if you're watching on your own on TV, you would call people into the room to come and have a look at his face. <laughs> look at his face. It has got look. to that stage. Look at his face. It's, <laughs> it's like when people have a bit of work done before they go on telly, like mm. they go on I'm a Celebrity or Dancing on Ice or something, and they've had a bit of work done. But they should have done it. They should have planned. Like six they months before. <laughs> six weeks before, they should have yeah. had the Botox. Let it settle. Not two days before. Yeah. Let yeah. it calm down. So all of a sudden, they've got this, like, puffy potato face. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Does that voice look like this? Hasn't been like, in yet. Uh, like kiwi allergy or something. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, welcome to the show. I Thanks. Like and it's going to be a lovely day today, weather Wise, finally good. I just want this weather to stay. I don't want it to rain between now and Tuesday uh, down in Pilton, down Glastonbury Way. Yeah, I think you're looking good. I don't think it will. I know, I we should be looking. okay. This will be year three in a row, I think, of it be, the weather being great at Glastonbury. Yeah. Last year was beautiful. Yeah. The field looks firm at the moment. There was a uh, BBC last night had a best of Glastonbury 2023 on. Mm. Just as we were going to bed, I think it was about 10 o'clock last night. On BBC Two. 
and uh, all the all the highlights. No, not all of them, but loads of highlights from Glastonbury last year. And they started off with Texas. Oh yes. Anyway, Tally's on in the lounge. We're in the kitchen. I can hear Charlene Spiteri singing away. Cause you make me feel yeah yeah. She's got a great voice, Charlene. She does. And I wouldn't say otherwise, because she's hard as nails. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you won't mess with Charlotte. She'd smash your face in. Oh. <laughs> she would. She'd pin you up by the throat. She'd pick you up by your throat. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Except for like Gary legs. Barlow video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Put me down. Uh, <laughs> we're feeding the cats. We're giving them their little treat. They have a little treat before, mm. they, you know, before they go nuts running around the house and... Don't know, twocking, licky licks, whatever you call it, licky licks, licky licks. That's yeah. it. And then I thought, oh, I was going to go and watch a little bit of Charlene before I switched the telly off. Walked into the lounge, picked up the remote, watched her going, oh, she's good, isn't she? Mm. And then they cut to the crowd, and there's two massive green Radio X yeah. flags. Oh. I mean, straight away, Hello Daddy was there, great, and Oasis surprise gig, 3 p.m. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Doesn't it make you proud oh. when you see on yeah. TV? That would be me this weekend watched on TV. What's lovely about the Glastonbury flags this year is that we've sent them out and loads of people are flying them already at yeah. home yes. before they go to Glastonbury. They've got them up in the garden. In the back garden, yeah, it's great, isn't I it? I tell you what, James, your cheeky wizard ones come out the tree. Oh, oh it, it, it's, And it's flying high, James. Oh, yeah, Have you seen the pictures? I, I hoped it would get lost in the post. Yeah, yeah it sticks out. It really it does. does. It's it's going to be great on television, that James. picture is so clear. It is. Now, lovely. here's the thing. For Glastonbury this year, we've got ten flags, Okay. We have, I don't like Chris Moyle's Sorry, which is a classic. And then we've got a picture of Dominic's face with the word Dom mm -hmm. next to it. Are they the only two? That oh, some, Gary. And Gary, Gary, of course. Oh, no, yeah. from last year. Ah. Uh, oh. So uh, I don't like Chris Moyle's Sorry and Dom. Yeah. Are the only ones, so eight, so. eight new ones. Yes, you're right. Those so that's two. ten Glastonbury flags to look out for mm. at Glastonbury this year. Big green Radio X flag. Nine. 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 What? Nine, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. nine, sorry. But it is actually ten. In fact, it's more because we gave away flags last year mm. and we gave away flags the year before. And some of those people are going to Glastonbury again and they're going to bring the flag. Now, Rosie is currently, as I speak, tunnelling <laughs> underground. Yeah. Like she's fitting super fast broadband. Yeah. And will pop up like a little mole probably in the healing fields. So she goes, she's going to bring a Hello Daddy flag. Yeah. And I know for a fact that there's a few other flags going. Yeah. Someone else messaged me saying that they're going from last year as well. It's absolutely flag-tastic going. Yes, yes, I think I've seen that one. So we could have 12, 15 flags at Glastonbury. Yes. Which is mm. great. Yes. Jo Johnny, absolutely flag-tastic. There you go. Going. Yeah. Correct. So you've got, uh, we've got them on the screen here, if you'd like to see the flags. We have a flag with Dom's face on. Uh, that's carried by Josh. Yeah. And that's the thing. If you go into Glastonbury and you see one of the flags and you see a group of people hanging onto this pole underneath, go and say hello. Yeah. Because they're our listeners. And again, equally, more people are going to be watching on telly than going. So look out for the green Radio X flags on the TV coverage. Hmm. Cammy has got, I don't like Chris Moyles, sorry. Lee is the flag bearer with James dressed as a cheeky little wizard. Yeah. It is wonderful, that. <laughs> Layla has the flag with a QR code on it. Sophie has got a flag that just says the word flag. <laughs> I really like that one. I do. It's becoming my favourite, I think. Laura has a picture of Gary Barlow saying, this is my idea of a very nice day out. Also excellent. Sarah and Adam have got help. I have vexophobia. Chelsea has conga starts here. Yes. And Simon has keep off the grass. Mm -hmm. And they've now all got their flags. It's a good mix, isn't it? It's a good mixture of stuff this year, I think. And then we have the extra flag, which is Captain Crapbeard is sleeping in this tent with That's a massive right. arrow pointing down. That's it. <laughs> which he's going to have. Is that right, Captain? Sure. What happened to you on Saturday, by the way? Oh, don't start. What? What? Don't start. I lost my voice singing at Foos. Foo Fighters, right? Hmm. Captain's giving it all, ah, uh, we should meet up for a drink. Well, we I should thought meet you up were. For a drink. We should meet up for a drink. Last I heard, you were meeting up for a drink. Well, I went to the gig, mm. right? 
our intern, Bella, yeah. was sat in the row behind me. Right. The boss, Matt Deverson, yes. he was there to ruin my fun. <laughs> he was sat with us. Yeah. So I thought, oh, well, there you go. This is great. Well, obviously, you all got the same kind of tickets. Captain Crapbeard will suddenly just appear. Yeah. Didn't appear. Oh. No, he oh. bought standing tickets a while ago. To oh, the oh, yeah. we stand oh. standing tickets. Oh. I was with the riffraff. Oh, involved. Oh, we were in um, Cobra Hospitality. Oh, Gracie's. <laughs> lovely toilets. That whole lounge was lovely. Was it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Named after some West Ham legend, I'm sure. Oh, okay, probably, yeah. It was just the something something lounge. Oh, yes, it, he was good. Yeah, he was so great. So you didn't get to meet? What? You didn't get to meet? I didn't, but I saw oh. Bella, saw Devo, saw lots of people. But we were going to meet in the afternoon, weren't we? Yeah, but you didn't tell me where you were. Oh, well, I think if you go back through our texts, I did. Yeah, but you didn't say which one. Anyway. Which one? No, he did. Uh. <laughs> but then I texted him after the gig and said, I'm here mm. at the bar. Right. But the hospitality bar? No, the bar uh, where he went before the gig. Uh, so I'm oh. like, I'm here now. Oh. And he just went, ha ha, lol. And I'm like, well, I'm waiting. Mm. Where are you? What happened? Well, you weren't there, were you? Ah, oh, boss. That was a big fat lie, wasn't it? Oh. Did you leave a little bit early to get ahead of the crowd? No. Actually, no, because Tiff posted fireworks, didn't she? Yeah. Which were at the end. Yeah. You stayed. Yeah. You just have to do it, don't you, and just accept I the fact. I think you do. When you're there, you're there, aren't you? Yeah. Now, I don't want to show off about how connected I am in the world of rock and roll and showbiz. You should get a helicopter. No. <laughs> <laughs> um... We, we got a taxi, we got a car. Yeah. Dan drove us there and then picked us up. Um, so what happened was, Abby messaged a couple of people going, hey, where's a good place to get picked up to have Chris's taxi waiting for him? Yeah. Like, round the, the you know, the London Stadium. Mm. Don't know. Okay, great. Oh, Thanks for your help. Thank you. uh, That's good. Well, there must be, because you know, you know, like, if there's venues you go to, even if it's this little small venue or a big yeah. venue, if you've been a few times, sometimes you get it down, you're like, walk 10 minutes that way and then you can get the bus or the tube or you can get a taxi or go to that hotel or whatever it is. Yeah. No one can help us. So I'll be spoke to somebody and they said, um, leave it with us. And then they came back and said, right, we've managed to get you in the car park where all the Foo Fighters trucks go. <gasps> No oh, way! Oh, so, not at the cool. venue, yeah. but about a seven, eight minute walk away from right. the venue. What, the opposite way to the others? Yeah, so basically, okay. all the trucks go in, deliver all the gear, and then those trucks have to go somewhere. Yeah. So they find a little car park, sit there, wait for the gig to finish, and then go back in, and then take everything down again, and put it in the trucks. So that's where we, <laughs> where we, that we, we went. Perfect. Oh, yeah. A little tr- nosy round. A, a trucker's car park. Wow. <laughs> VIP. <laughs> Look at me. So did you... Very walk, cool. Away, not with all the crowd? You yeah. You go somewhere else? No, with the crowd. Oh, but so it was crowd. great. And then everybody was going over, like, we went under a little underpass. Yeah. Down a little side street, and then there's this massive car park with literally Abby's car and Dan picking me up because all the trucks had gone in to do the truck stuff. Amazing. Oh, yeah, rock and roll. Perfect. A truck car park. Yes. That's the way I roll. Was everyone still singing, like, oh. Yeah, me and Rob uh, tried to get it going at one point. No, no. No, you have to try, don't you? And then it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, we saw something beautiful. What? Oh, I'll tell you in a second. We saw something lovely at the gig, Foo Fighters, Mm. on Saturday night. But before I tell you what it was, I just need to clear something up. For those people who need to write down the name of the radio station they're listening to, so... 6.45, you're listening to Radio X. That's Radio X. Write down the name of the radio station, just in case anybody asks you, what do you listen to in the morning? You can look them in the eye and say, I listen to Radio X. And it's a beautiful Monday morning. Sun is shining. I hope it's lovely where you are. Have you had a great weekend? What have you got up to? Back to the daily grind. You know what it's like. Uh, but here's someone's put a smile on your face. He's never going to give you up. <laughs> it's Rick Astley. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. I've still commitments while I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from
Oh, go on then. Highlight of Glastonbury for me. Oh, Last yeah. year he was. Yeah. Oh, I loved him. Anyway, Foo Fighters on Saturday night. So Pippa's review of the gig was, ah, 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 you'll just, ah, 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 ah. Yeah. And she was absolutely right. <laughs> word for word. <laughs> and I messaged her Saturday. Mm. Yes. Did I send you a video? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How was that? Do you know, do you know the, the only problem for me was, which was not a problem, was our seats were very, very, very close to a bar. Not free. Uh, mm. That's okay. fine. Yeah. Um, and there was even mm. a little tiny bar outside where right. the seats were. They make it too easy. So to I had it, yeah. one bar there and then one bar another five seconds right. away. So I had a few drinks mm -hmm. and I enjoyed myself very much. Yeah. They were phenomenal. Phenomenal. Dave Grohl, the whole band were on top form. Taylor's son Shane came out and mm. played drums. I saw that on, yeah. On He's like literally an animal. Yeah. yeah. From the Muppets. And then Dave's daughter came out. Yes. Oh. She sang. It was, the whole vibe was brilliant. Um, Dave got a, a, a lot, a bit of stick because he made some comments about Taylor Swift's live yeah. show. Saying this is... And it's been reported We do wrong. it live or something, whatever. Yeah, mean. but what actually... He mentioned it a couple of times and he says, don't, don't mess with Taylor Swift. You don't want the Swifties on you. Mm. Don't do it. And her tour is the Errors tour. Yes. And he goes, our tour, we're calling it the Errors tour. Yes. Yeah. As in E-R-R-O-R-S. Yeah. But it's been reported that he called her tour the Errors Tour. And he's going, to know. we've been around for a few eras mm. and we've certainly made a few errors. Yeah. And then he made some thing about playing live or singing live or yes. something. Now, I think Dave Grohl and Taylor Swift know each other. Mm. Oh, I would think right? so. Yeah. And he could have gone, well, he could have A, not mentioned it. B, he could have gone down the route of going, hey, hey, hey. Don't you be booing Taylor Swift. Mm. That woman is awesome. She's incredible. But read the room. Read the room, right? That's a Foo Fighters gig. And your average Foo Fighters person, right, they're not going to cheer at the, at the mere mention of Taylor Swift's name. Probably not, no. If you're going to put money on it, hey, Taylor Swift's playing down the road, is a Foo Fighters crowd going to cheer or boo? <laughs> they're going to boo. Yeah. Right? Now, he could spend the next five minutes going, no, you don't understand what a phenomenal artist she is. That's a hell of a live show. Yeah. Do you know the production on that is, is phenomenal? The lighting alone is great. They're not fussed. <laughs> They're not interested. No, 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 no. So it's, a, it's the easy, cheap route to go, well, we play live. Anyway, no. and then you get a big cheer and then off you go, rock and roll. But he knows. He knows Tate. Oh, yeah. So this weekend, Taylor Swift was playing in London. And then I think Girls Aloud were playing. Oh, Foo were Fighters were playing. Okay. So many big gigs on. Yeah. Is Pink still here or is she gone? I think she's still here. Did Green Day play or did I make that up? They were in Manchester. Oh, in Manchester. yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, they were. Yeah. Anyway, one of the greatest things I saw at the Foo Fighters gig, and I've never seen this before properly, we witnessed the start, the very beginnings of a Mexican wave. Oh. oh. That never got going. Oh, oh, that's a shame. A flop. Oh, yeah. but it was brilliant. Because you never see them start. No, you don't. No. You're always you never up in see the them start. You never see anybody come up with, which I've seen once, you never see anybody come up with a song to sing at the football mm -hmm. and then people start singing it. And then the next thing is everyone's singing it in the stadium. Yeah. It, you never see the beginnings of these. No. So, we're watching Foo Fighters <laughs> like this and there's people in front of us. And someone stands up and he turns around and he goes, way like that. And a few people go, what? He goes, one, two, three, way And a few people go, oh, I see what he's doing. He's getting a Mexican wave. Going. Yeah. One, two, three, way It might have moved to the end of their row. Oh, is that it? <laughs> oh, what a shame. <laughs> and he gave it. He gave. He tried yeah. for a couple of minutes. Oh. He'll be disappointed. He just went, oh, forget this. Yeah, he'll be a bit embarrassed, a bit disappointed. <laughs> In the same way, when Rob and I were leaving, we're going, oh, come on, oh! Now, 
Oh, there's a massive crowd of people leaving. Yeah. yeah. And it's only Rob and I singing. Yeah. Oh. oh. What a shame. Oh, come on. Oh. And two, fella, two fellas are walking next to us, and one of them went, keep going. I went, oh, <laughs> you're not joining in, though. And he went, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, so Foo Fighters were amazing. So if you go, to, I think they're playing Cardiff and Birmingham, and then they're right. off. I think that's it. So if you go, in, trust me, you're gonna have oh my god, the best time. Yeah, here we go. I could see the people trying to start a Mexican wave. It literally never left that block. <laughs> it didn't leave the row. <laughs> Anyway, rock and roll, that was Saturday night, and then yesterday I tried to clear out a load of wardrobes, uh, a ward, bit of space in my wardrobe, right. and I'm getting rid of a load of clothes. Okay. A load of old clothes that don't really fit me anymore. Okay. And also stuff that... they're too big? No. Oh. No, the other way around. Sorry. It turns out when I... highlight that. When I was at my lowest weight ever, I went nuts and bought loads of clothes. Ah, oh, okay. So I've got jackets that don't fit, trousers that don't fit, You'll T-shirts fit that again. don't fit. But you're on your way down, yeah. so... Yeah. Oh, am I? No, I oh, it <laughs> They're taking my picture down in reception. <laughs> um, anyway, so I brought in a couple of presents. Oh. oh! Now, sadly, only two presents, so only two of you will get okay. the present. Actually, I've got an extra present for you. Oh. Jordan North gave me a fiver the other day, and I meant Yay! to give it to you. Oh, well, I mean, update, oh. update. I mean, it's a waste of time, because you're it's only going to give it back to him. It's not a waste of time. I mean, it's also a waste of time. Be a sweepstake. Thank you. Thanks, Are Jordan. You half, halfway Jordan yet? North, five pound going in. Thank you. Five pound going in. Thank you. Tick. Ka-ching. Have you got your bit? Of so. The captain's got it. Yeah, I've got my bit. I've got, yeah. I've got um, some gifts for you. So I'm over here now. Phoenix, I'm over. There you go. Wakey, wakey, wakey. I've got a couple of. Uh, oh no, it's not Phoenix today. Oh, who is oh, it? Oh, is it today? Good Lovely Jack. 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 Yeah. Hey, Jack. Well, Jack's clearly sitting there reading the paper. <laughs> so, would you? Who would you like your gift? Uh, yes, please. Okay, all right. love a gift so, on a Monday morning, especially. I, I got you a little something. Thanks. All right. Ooh, presents. Oh, what is yeah. it? What is it? It's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. T-shirt. Oh. <laughs> Now, it's a T-shirt of a band. Of a band? Yeah. Okay. Now... Was it one of my favourite bands? Well, you tell me. Tell me one of your favourite bands. Well, I'm a big U2 fan, Chris. Right. Mm. Tell. Go Love down that list. Okay. Uh, I'm also a Foo Fighters fan as well. Uh -huh. Love it. Do you also like... Yes. S Club 7? Yes, I do. Who doesn't? Who, right. who doesn't love S well, Club 7? Well, I've got you... This U2 T-shirt. Hey! Oh, oh, nice. That's really nice. Now, it if it is, doesn't fit you, it's not likely to fit me, I wouldn't Joshua say. Joshua Tree, I've never worn it. Ah, OK. It's never been worn. Oh, so this isn't oh. from your wardrobe that's too small? This is from my wardrobe. Right. Right, but it, was, it might be. It was in my I'm going to keep these even though I've never worn it collection. You know oh, why? Oh, awesome. Because this was given to me by one of the members of U2. <gasps> oh, is it Adam when he came in with... Adam gave me this. He goes, it's very exclusive. Yeah. Joshua Tree T-shirt. Love it. The European Tour 2017. I was at the Twickenham date at the right. top of that list. That looks like it will fit you, Dom. Mm, um, but it's not that. It was given... Yes. This T-shirt was given to you... Mm. But through me, yeah. by, by Adam Clayton. Adam Clayton. So he gave... Yes, he brought two in, didn't he? He brought yep. the burgundy one, which yep. I... I've only just stopped wearing because there are holes in it now everywhere because I wear it a lot. So now you've got that one. Thank you so much. That's awesome. There you go. Oh, that's great. It's a nice tea. Now, James, oh. you, you get the next gift. Thanks, mate. I get a gift? Yeah. Yeah. You also have a T-shirt. Is it S Club? It's not S Club. Okay. What oh. do you think it is? Oh, now, is it something... Is it something that was given to you for a child? Uh... No. No. That, well, that would have been funny, though. Is it... <laughs> is it a T-shirt? It says a T-shirt. Oh. Is it for a band? No. 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 Oh, does it's, it say anything on it? It does. Oh. It says the, the name of a business. A business? <laughs> yeah. So it's, not, it's the very opposite of a band T-shirt. Is it cool? Okay. Oh, yeah. That's mm. cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. So, like, yeah. Greg's on it. They're a business... What? Did you say Greg's on it? Not Greg's. No, that is cool. It's way less exciting than Greg's. <laughs> OK. What they do, this company. Isn't mm. it like an insurance company? <gasps> it's not... Is in... it the accountancy thing that you dj at? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> now, that would they, be cool. They do make something, though. Well, they sell... 
a product office yeah. stuff. Uh, Staples? No. Oh, it is a paper company, though. <laughs> oh, is it Dunder Mifflin? It's oh. Dunder Mifflin! Oh. Yes. I've got you a Dunder Mifflin T-shirt. <laughs> that's for you. And on that bombshell, that's the first 25 minutes done. We'll see you later. Chris Miles Radio. Radio.